previously on Gleesman. We're working on these boat exhausts right now from a diesel boat. They're mounted rigidly in the boat and they're breaking off the clamps on the V-band. So we took these elbows, we fit them, we drilled the holes for them, and then we welded them in place. Then we cut these pipes in half and that's where we ended off. Well, it's a new day and we have our eccentric rings sitting here ready to go. So we just need to do a small modification to each one of these. We need to remove a quarter inch of height from each one. And then we'll just use a grinder to get those uh, to the right height. Then we'll be able to tack these eccentric rings in place, we'll weld them up, and then these pipes will be good to go. And then we can work on doing the modifications to the flanges on both this pipe and on the turbine housings. The gap that we had right here has closed up, so it's gonna make it a little bit more challenging to get our eccentric rings in, but we'll figure it out. Maybe we can try cutting the next one on the bandsaw. I hope that's a little easier. We should have done that the first time. Number three. And number four. Hey, it's Future John here. Now listen, I know what you're thinking right now. Oh my gosh, is that guy using a cutoff wheel without a guard in place? And yes, you're absolutely correct and very observant. Uh, not only does it look cool, but it's also the most dangerous thing that you can do with a grinder. Don't ever do this. I'm so ugly that I probably wouldn't even look that bad with a piece of cutoff wheel sticking out of the side of my face for the rest of my life. But most other people wouldn't, so don't do it. And remember, I did have the right gear on here. I had my safety glasses on, and I was also squinting. So remember, don't do it. So you can see that I tried a couple different ways to cut these rings out. First, I tried the grinder, and just because uh, I wasn't taking off that much material, but that was kind of laborious uh, and messy. I brought it over to the bandsaw, but unfortunately the bandsaw doesn't have the correct blade on it right now. Uh, it just, this is a fussy thing to cut. Uh, 
being stainless steel. So the best thing uh, turned out to be just marking it off and using the abrasive cutoff wheel and it worked really nicely. So that's kind of the worst of what I had to do to this today done. Now we can just clean up these holes, deburr them, and then we can start fitting in our eccentric rings and tacking them in place. to trim this up a little bit more. That's one done. Let's do that three more times.
Well, all the eccentric rings are in. Very happy with how they fit. Uh, I knew when I designed them that they would be close, not perfect. So this is just kind of uh, expectation versus reality. So I just trimmed them a little bit. So now we can get ready to purge all of this with gas, just like we did previously. And we can weld this thing up. All right, that's the first one done. So pretty.
as you can see, one is now two. And I hope this makes a little bit more sense now, now that it's all uh, kind of wrapped up here. So what we did, we cut this thing, we welded these in, and now we have jumped the water across. So now in the boat, when a big silicone coupler is sitting on this joint right here, that will allow for some flex. Very nice, very nice flex. So that's it for this part. Part two, we are going to be taking these turtles apart, putting them in the lathe, and we are going to be removing the V-band and adding a much beefier flange onto the back side. We're gonna weld this on. Now the last thing that we need to do to this is cut off a certain amount of these flanges and add this flange. So that's going to the end there. And this will just basically make it more reliable and guarantee that the V-band flange will not snap off of that again for any reason. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you like this content. We upload every Friday. I like that actually.